Razik here with a video review of Kingsoft Office. Um, you know, if you're looking for alternatives to um, uh, Microsoft Office, uh, there's there's plenty of them out there. Not all of them are all that great. Um, I've previously reviewed um, the latest version of LibreOffice, um, and uh, if you look click the little uh, bubble over to the side you'll be able to uh, see that review if you haven't looked at it previously um, but I'm going to talk today about uh, Kingsoft Office um, that is a Chinese company and I guess you could best say that uh, they're doing a better job than Microsoft of being Microsoft Office um, let me show you what we got here um, uh, there's uh, three programs along with it. Uh, presentations, which is like PowerPoint, spreadsheets, which is like Excel, and Writer, which is like Word. Um, I'm going to spend most of the time on Writer um, just because uh, writing is what I do, and uh, you know that's where I spend most of my time. Fire it up and um, to these online templates. Now you can, when it first starts up, you've got online templates that you can download. Um, but let me just open something that uh, you know, I've previously written. Um, okay. Um, as you notice, you've got basically the same sort of uh, ribbon layout that uh, Microsoft Office uses these days, or at least from 2007 on up. Um, and then over here on, you got like a mini sidebar over here. Um, I like the layout. You know, it's if you're somebody that's used to the ribbon layout of Microsoft Office, you'll probably be pretty happy with this. Um, you know, if you're somebody that likes the drop down menus, you can set um, to go to go back to that's that's uh, that style um, of the uh, uh, interface. I guess you could say. Um, personally, I I. I don't like the drop downs to me that screams, you know, 1980s and 90s. I lived through the 80s and 90s once. I don't want to do it again. Um, so, anyway, I like, I like, uh, you know, the ribbon type layout. Or, you know, personally, I'd rather have, I'd rather see like this entire ribbon over on one of the two sides. Um, kind of like uh, if you're familiar with. Um, uh, the KDE uh, uh, K words, and actually I'm going to be doing a review of that soon. Um, but K words, they have everything over on the side. Really like that kind of setup. Um, but anyway, I like this better than drop downs. It's just my personal thing, but you know I like it better that way. Um, some stuff that they have here that Microsoft Office doesn't. You can have multiple documents open at the same time, and they'll be tabbed. So, like, let's say, you know, let's, you know, we open up a bunch of documents, and you can scroll between all these new, all these documents um, using uh, using the tabs, which is really nice if you've got, um, you know, if you're writing and you've got multiple documents that you're working from and need to switch back and forth really quick. You know, Microsoft Office, you, you do the minimize thing, and, uh, you know, this is just, it's more intuitive. Uh, very nice. Um, as far as being compatible with um, Microsoft um, Office documents, um, here's what I found as I've been working with this. Um, the uh, uh, all the features are are there as far as um, like you see I've got in this document and it, this was a um, um, 
a manuscript that went back and forth between me and my editor. You can see comments are showing up like they should. My my one beef that I've found so far is that Times New Roman, for whatever reason, does not um, reproduce well. It, it's kind of ugly. The spacing's off. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. And, but I noticed as soon as I got out of Times New Roman and switched to something else, I mean, it looks looks fine then. So I I guess it's just an issue with Times New Roman. I I, I don't know. Um, but that's my one issue. But like I said, comments are there. Um, notations if you're using the um, uh, the uh, the track changes that seem to work fine. Spell checker works good. Um, you know, from what I've seen as I've been playing around with this, anything that uh, Microsoft Office could do, you could do here. Um, the file formats, you go to uh, let me, file. You know, previous versions of Kingsoft Office. Um, you could not. You could open the the um, docx formats, but not save that way. Well, you can save that way now. If you go to save as, and you look at the options here. Obviously, it's not nearly as great a number of options as um, LibreOffice, but I mean, they've got their own proprietary format here. Uh, not going to use it, no reason to. Um, but um, the um, um, the earlier um, Microsoft Word formats, the DocX formats, um, RTF text files, you know, it, the HTML, uh, pretty much most of what you may want is there. Um, well, no complaints as far as that goes um, and I tried uh, opening documents and then saving to another format and then opening another in that format and then switching back and forth going between going between uh, uh, this program and Microsoft Word no problems no problems at all so really really like that um, They've got styles just like uh, Microsoft Office does. So I mean, really, it's a it's a solid product. Um, now, just real quick here, up the spreadsheets. Once again, when you open it up, it goes to the web page, um, so you can download different templates. But uh, you know, it looks like uh, Excel. Um, I was playing around a little bit with it. Formula is the same. Um, basically, you like like I said, everything is just about the same. It looks a little different up at the top, but I mean, it's the same basic uh, uh, ribbon, you know, tab ribbon format format. Um, And then uh, same thing with um, presentations. It's it's a great um, you know it's a great clone of a uh, PowerPoint. Um, like I said, I, I've only played around with these other programs a little bit, but I mean, from what I've seen so far, works great. So I anyway, would. <clears throat> so uh, you know, kind of final thoughts on it. Um, you know, uh, if you want to get away from working with Microsoft Office, this might be a good bet for you. Um, it does not have all of the programs that Microsoft Office has. You know, you've got the writer, the spreadsheets, and uh, the presentations. You don't have a database. Um, 
and then you know some of the other Microsoft Office programs you don't have those but you know if if you don't need those then that's probably not an issue for you you know this this was a freebie uh, if you're working on Linux systems like I am right here um, you don't have to deal with the old you know I've got to use wine or play on Linux or, or some kind of Windows emulator so I can run Windows software on my desktop now there's a a Linux version of, of Kingsoft office um, and a Windows version um, one thing that I found um, kind of odd there there's a Windows and there's a Linux version but not a uh, not a Mac version kind of odd oh and there is also a Android version uh, so you know so you got an Android tablet or uh, Android phone you can run uh, King South Office on on that uh, on that device which is pretty cool um, would I take this over to LibreOffice? That's kind of a tough question. Um, Kingsoft Office has a lot going for it. Um, there's some stuff that LibreOffice is a little better at. Like I said, you got a big variety of formula or um, not formulas, but uh, formats that you can work with. Um, but that's not much of a of a deal breaker. Um, you know, and for me, it kind of torn because I'd like to see LibreOffice uh, continue to advance. Um, so I can't say, oh, I'm going to switch to Kingsoft, uh, but at the same time, it's it's got some compelling features. One of the things I like, though, here is that for the first time in years, we're seeing a lot of advances in. Um, uh, the, uh, the desktop office software I mean you know really um, Microsoft Office kind of dressed up how it looked you know the new uh, the new interface with the ribbon and so forth um, but really you haven't seen that much advance in um, in the desktop office software in the past few years um, but you know LibreOffice and uh, you know King's Alt Office some of the other now that they're they're pretty well done doing catch up there's some competition out there for Microsoft Office so we may all benefit even if you're a Microsoft Office user uh, you know may benefit uh, from the competition out there because you know quite frankly for a lot of years Microsoft Office had no competition so there was no reason to uh, innovate um, now there is so hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, be sure to subscribe uh, if you want to keep getting my videos and thanks a lot